If you love Marvel Studio or Urban Decay and you see this review, welcome back to my channel, guys. Have you seen The Eternals? If you haven't, well, you're not the only one. I haven't seen the movie, but the reviews are in. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, by all means, do that. Today, I'm going to be checking out the Urban Decay X Marvel Studios, The Eternals collaboration. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Missy. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss a video from me. And let's just jump right into this makeup review. Here's the box, and this thing is huge. In this collection, there's an eyeshadow palette with 15 all new shades, four waterproof eyeliners, two highlighters, four lipsticks, and two body glitters. So this is the eyeshadow palette, and that's what it looks like inside. These are the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys. First swatch, Cosmic Blast. Family Eternal, Immortal Warrior, Strength in the shadows, devotion. Astrolabe, loyalty, grain of sand, and let's move up here. Famous. Merciful, Genius, Soaring, Protector, and the last swatch for this palette is Sonic Bloom. That's interesting. These are the swatches for the Eternals palette. This blue is really stunning. This is famous. It's blending into my complexion. I feel like that would be a really nice everyday transition shade. These are 15 all new shades, as I mentioned, and the shades are inspired by the strength and grace of the Immortal Warriors. These are the four eyeliners. They are waterproof. It's a vegan formula, and these eyeliners are supposed to last all day. So let's go ahead and do some swatches of that as well. So this is Cosmic Energy. This is Cosmic Mission, and this is a smoky purple with fuchsia micro sparkle. So let's see. I'm not seeing the fuchsia yet. And so this is Cosmic Eternal. So it's a blue shimmer with blue and purple micro sparkle. This is the last eyeliner. This is Cosmic Speed. This is a deep black eyeliner with a glitter finish. Here are the lipsticks. There are two creamy shades and two semi-sheer shades. These lipsticks are supposed to soften and help protect your lips. They're infused with avocado oil, jojoba oil, and cocoa butter. Since I have all of these swatches on my face, I might as well just add the lipstick. So here we go. This is Knowledge, and this is supposed to be a sheer deep berry shade. So there you go. And so we have Brilliance, and this is supposed to be a sheer copper. This is Ancient, and this is supposed to be a warm nude cream. So the last lipstick is Agility, and this is supposed to be a deep red cream. These are the two highlighters, Vegan Formula, and last up to eight hours. This is Unmined, and it's a rich gold with copper and gold micro shimmer. This is Cuny Rune. And this is a rich bronze with micro sparkle. The last two products would be the body glitter. This one is Eternal Starship. I don't have a description for this one. This is obviously the lighter of the two. And I, I like that a lot. I'm going to have to take a shower after doing these swatches, then moisturize. This is Immortal Gold. And that's how that looks. Here are our swatches. I haven't seen the movie, like I said, but I have seen photos of the cast members. And when I look at the ladies, they were all wearing soft glam makeup. 
So when I see these brighter shades here, I'm a little bit puzzled. Um, they seem incredibly strong and bold. Maybe I'll do something different today. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up and I'll be right back to dip into this eyeshadow palette. So I got most of that uh, glitter off. Word to the wise, my chest is very red right now because I was scrubbing so hard trying to get that glitter off. But the good thing about that is it's non-transferable. So if you put your glitter on and you're out in your cute little outfit, it won't transfer to anybody. I filmed the entire Urban Decay X Marvel Studio, the Eternals collection reveal, and then something about it just felt really disjointed. I was happy with most of the review. I liked the swatches and everything, but it was the final makeup look that I just wasn't really happy with. If you're a creator out there, maybe you can relate to this. Whenever I'm doing a project, I really try to capture the spirit of whatever it is that I'm doing. I like to feel my project. In this case, it was weird because I hadn't seen the movie, so it was impossible for me to actually capture the spirit of the movie. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and see the movie. And I could tell right off why it felt so weird. I didn't know enough about it to actually capture anything of the movie other than just playing around with the palette. Basically, all these colors, it's about the costume. So I'm going to be playing around with some of these colors today and let's see if we can pull out a character out of this movie. My favorite costume from the movie was the Angelina Jolie costume. It was like a white gold uh, costume and it just hugged her in all the right places and she was looking like really, really fierce. I did like Salma Hayek's costume as well. I think this blue right here probably represents her costume because she had this really beautiful, Full blue costume with gold trim. It's like you guys have to see the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm using this Urban Decay eyeshadow potion and this is in the shade Caffeine. Blend it out. Set it in place. Let's start off with this shade right here as my transition shade and that's called Grain of Sand. So that's how that looks. What do you guys think for color payoff? I'm gonna go ahead and deepen my crease with this shade right here, it's called Famous. Okay, I like this yellow shade right here, it's called Loyalty, so I'm gonna put this on my lid. Bit more. Okay, so there you go. I like this blue shade right here, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this in my inner corner. And so it's so pretty and vibrant in the pan, but it's not showing up that well in my inner corner. Okay, so let's spray the brush. One of the first things you do if you want your colors to look a little bit more vibrant. A little bit better. I want everything to look a little bit more seamless. I'm going to go back with this little yellow shade here just to blend out the area between the blue eyeshadow and the yellow. I may go back to this eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure yet, but I want to play around with the waterproof pencils. So we have the four here. Uh, let me see what this blue shade looks like. This is the Cosmic Eternal one. So I'll just layer it over the eyeshadow. And actually, it makes it appear a lot more pigmented. Okay, so these pencils are great for layering. Let me try a little bit of this gold shade in my inner corner as well. This is called Cosmic Energy. Okay, and so that's how that looks. And I'll try a little bit of this black shade right here. It's called Cosmic Speed. Let's try it on the waterline. Okay, and so that's how that looks so far. I'm going to go ahead, do the other eye, do my lashes, and apply my base, and I'll be right back to do the highlighter and the lipsticks. So these are the highlights, and here are the lipsticks. So I think I like this Cuny Rune shade, and so I'm going to go for this one. And that is pretty pigmented. Oh my goodness. Let's do a little bit on the brow bone. I 
As far as the lipsticks, I think I want to go with Ancient and top it off with Brilliance. So here we go. Okay, so that's how that looks. I'm going to top it off with Brilliance. The look is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and do some finishing touches off camera and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Guys, let's not forget the body glitters. Let me add a little bit to my collarbone. You gotta work quickly with this one, otherwise it'll just stay in a clump. This is it, guys. The look is done. What do you guys think? about Urban Decay, the brand, the whole collection. Urban Decay has been doing a number of collaborations. Uh, one of a collaboration with Prince, which I ended up doing a makeup review with that one. It wasn't a bestseller or anything. And so now we have the Urban Decay X Marvel Studio collaboration. Um, and this is on sale um, pretty much everywhere. So is this another failed collaboration. I'm not really sure what Urban Decay thought when they did this collaboration. Maybe it was just an effort to boost uh, sales. Maybe they thought this movie was going to be a big hit and so it would be a new marketing platform for the brand. If you're a loyal member of the Urban Decay family or Marvel family, you may run out and get this collection. As far as pigmentation, color, quality i think it's pretty good i like the colors in the palette but it was like 15 brand new shades uh, all of these shades i'm sure we've all seen them before so i don't know that they're actually brand new this was a little bit confusing because none of the cast members were actually wearing any of this product i feel like there should have been a little bit more thought behind this collaboration if urban decay wanted to collaborate with marvel x studio then you know what, I would make the request that some of these cast member actually wear products from this collection. So when people are watching the movie, the eyeshadow, like this pretty blue that I'm wearing, it should have been there. It is really pretty. People would have been asking about it, like, hey, what's that shade? I love that blue shade, you know? Is there a palette associated with it? Or if they were wearing one of the lipsticks that was a little bit more vibrant, say the red shade, maybe someone would be looking at it thinking, well, wow, that's a really pretty lipstick. Where can I buy it? None of it was apparent on screen. So Anyway, if you love Marvel Studio or Urban Decay and you see this review, go out and support Urban Decay or Marvel Studio by picking up this collection. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch me do another video. As always, don't forget to like, share with all of your family and friends. Check out all of my other content while you're here. Go follow me on all of my different social media platforms. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next. And I'll see you loves on my next one. Bye.